So if you have one of these medium duty door operators that uses a three button control where there's a distinct button for open, one for close and one for stop, um, it's the, basically the kind you find with this uh, LiftMaster MJ5011U. Uh, this opener will use a remote control receiver. You see here it says uh, 315 megahertz, but that's that proprietary LiftMaster remote. And what you might find is that you're having trouble getting it to work with third-party operators like the next door garage opener um, or others. Uh, the next garage um, opener does a really good job. You just connect this up to your opener. On one end here, you've got a door sensor that connects to this connection here. On the other end, you've got two connections for your, your open and close toggle and then just a simple power cord into a 110 outlet. Uh, issue is when you're trying to use these kind of third-party openers with that kind of uh, system, it can only open it, but you really can't close it because you've got to con choose which connection point you're gonna connect your wires to. So I've got an, uh, um, a way to get around that, and I'll show you that in the rest of this video. So here's my next garage system. You got the main controller here. You're gonna to need to connect your door sensor, this is the magnet side here, up onto your door. Then you're gonna connect that door sensor into the next garage, like so. And then you've got this other wire you gotta connect for your next garage to trigger the door to open or to close. And in this scenario, I'm gonna modify this LiftMaster remote so that these connection points will actually go into my remote. And then when it's triggered by the next garage controller, it's going to act as if it's pushing the button by directly on the remote hitting those connections. And I'll show you how to modify the remote. And then next step will just be uh, to plug your next garage into power. Make sure it's within Wi-Fi connection uh, in your location and that your, your door sensor is wired up. So somewhere this will need to be near the door. Uh, because that sensor is on a, on a cable in this situation. All right, so next up is uh, how to modify this remote. So all I've done here is opened up the, the remote. You see you got your little board here, and there's the three buttons that correspond with your remote. These are like this. First button, second button, third button. And on the back of each button, there's four soldering points onto the board. That correspond, they're right behind it. And what I'm showing you here is how I've just soldered those two connections at that far left button onto a couple wires. And then drilled a hole in the back of the remote and then just uh, put those wires out with an, with an adapter here that I'm just gonna plug into my third party device that's gonna trigger the opening and closing. And that's it. So that's how the insides of these remotes work. When you push a button, you're just c covering those contacts on the back by soldering this wire in there, you're able to mimic the activity of actually pushing the button. And then by just mounting this remote somewhere within range of your device that you need to open, you can have your third party device put their connections right into here and then trigger it with your app or whatever third party system you're gonna use. And then that'll in, in turn fire off the remote. Next Garage uses a wired or a wireless door locator. And this is a magnetic sensor that you'll need to mount to the door itself and then also in a fixed position somewhere along the track so that when your door goes up it'll sense that these magnetic connections have broken and it'll send a wired signal up to the unit to let the system know that the door is open then when it comes back down it'll it'll indicate again that it's closed uh, i've used a couple 90 degree plastic connectors here that come with the next device to mount that um, and I just hit it with some silicone because I broke a little bit of the plastic. I tightened it down a little too much. Uh, but now this thing's not going anywhere. 
Uh, but this is an important part of the system. Like I said, some of them, the newer ones have a wireless sender. That works okay if your door does a 90 degree turn at the top, but if you've got a door that goes straight up and down, it really won't work. So you'll need a wired uh, device like this type. And here's our LiftMaster 50, MJ5011. This has the purple uh, antenna wire, which would translate to a purple button for learn, for the learn button on this one. And that's how you uh, get your uh, LiftMaster remote connected. You're gonna, you're gonna program it as if it's got the purple button, even though the button doesn't have any color on it. And then um, here's my modified remote, and here's my uh, next garage unit. Basically, it doesn't need to be on this uh, opener. It could be anywhere in the garage at this point. Um, but it is plugged into AC power, and it does need to be close enough so that my wire here that comes from my door sensor uh, can connect into the next garage uh, thing here to give it the indication of where is the door. So I got my wires connected up uh, to my third-party adapter. I'm just going to take the remote, just tuck it out of the way, and move the wires away from rubbing against anything bad. And uh, we'll get off the ladder and then show you what it looks like in the app. And uh, here you can see the app, got the app up and it indicates the door's closed. And that's because that sensor there is uh, in contact. And I'll go ahead and push and hold the button. It's gonna activate it to open. There's our trigger and the door opens. And you'll see the status continue to update. And it got an indicator, full red, that, yep, door is open. A little picture of the garage, it's got the door open. Everything's working as normal. Now go ahead and push it again and hold it. Got the green button. Animation shows the door is closing. And when the sensor lines up, there you go. We'll get a signal back, push notification to the phone, says, you are closed and big green green light here again so that's how it works uh, works really good these next garage devices are great they're not expensive and they're super versatile you can do a really a lot to to manage different controllers in your in your location this one's got a front gate and this one's got a guest house garage and that's what this is controlling from the same single app all right, um, if you want to see some more detail about the next app and the next uh, controller and how it works with a gate controller, check out my other video where I connected up to a 1050 board from Apollo, nice Apollo. And then uh, there's also another video coming out which shows you how to put a Wi-Fi controlled system like this one at a gate that's um, away from your typical Wi-Fi access or Wi-Fi coverage, how to get your Wi-Fi signal beamed out there you know, a mile from the source. So be looking for that video as well. I'll put a link in the description to anything that, um, any product here that I used and that would help you uh, put together a, a, a setup like this for yourself so you can find that. And I hope that helps and have a great day.